story time with the Shoots Public Library. My name is Josie and today we're going to have a great story time talking about ponds and streams. We're going to read a fun book together and do some songs together. Here we go. I always like to start out with an opening song. So if you know the words, sing along. If you don't know the words, that's a-okay. Here we are. Story time is here. Give a great big cheer. Yay! Now quietly Listen and see, cause story time is here. Oh, fun, thank you for singing with me. I also like to do a rhyme before I read a book. So we're gonna do this rhyme together. I want you to put your strong hands out in front of you. See all your fingers? Good job, here we go. Open them, shut them. Open them, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open them, shut them, open them, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Oh, nice job. All your hands are in your lap and we're ready to start our story. This will just take a second as I move from talking to you to the book. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and click there and Here we are. So today we are going to read Over and Under the Pond by Kate Messner. And this is read with permission from the publisher Chronicle Books. I'm gonna be up here in a little corner and the book is gonna be all over the screen so you can see all the words as we go along. So Over and Under the Pond. Look at all those fish, I think that's really cool. Here we are. Over the pond we slide, splashing through the lily pads, sweeping through the reeds. The water's a mirror reflecting the sky, sunshine and clouds, then a shadow below. What's under there? I ask. Under the pond, Mom says. Under the pond is a whole hidden world of minnows and crayfish, turtles and bullfrogs, we're paddling over them now. Over the pond, we skim past tall rushes. Whirly gig beetles loop and twirl, skaters on a warm summer surface. Under the pond, minnows dart through the waving forests of grass while a brook trout lurks, ready to lunge. Over the pond, we lift and dip and pull past a row of painted turtles on a waterlogged tree. One, two, three, they slip off and away. Splash, gurgle, sploosh, under the pond. Over the pond, cattails rustle and shush in the wind. Listen close. Cookflurry, cookflurry. Red-winged blackbirds race by. One has a grass for her nest. Under the pond, a cadfish fly larva builds a home of her own, a secret shelter of pebbles and sand. Over the pond, the shadow of trees lean out from the shore. We coast under a low-hanging branch. A moose looks up with a mouthful of water lilies. We've interrupted his lunch. Under the pond, beavers dive deep. They pump with powerful tails and rise to the surface with delectable roots from the mud. Over the pond, the wind gives us a push and stirs the light dappled leaves on the shore. There on a branch, a new goldfinch teeters, finally ready to fly. Under the pond, tadpoles are changing, learning to hop. They're losing their tails, growing legs, and growing up. Over the pond, there at the shore, tall and silent and still, a great blue heron stares down into the deep. It tenses, takes one long leg step and strikes. It catches a wiggling quicksilver minnow from where it was hiding under the pond. Over the pond we drift, heads tipped up to the sun, a woodpecker clings to a teetering pine, digging for ants. Under the pond, an otter claws for freshwater mussels. Over the pond, a sleepy dragonfly lands for rest. 
his spindly legs tickle my knee. Under the pond, a dragonfly larva watches what swims by. They catch minnows in monster fast jaws. Over the pond, the shadows stretch. Osprey circle on quiet wings. Raccoons and mink stalk the shoreline for supper. Under the pond, with a flip of a tail, a crayfish disappears into the dark. Over the pond, we head for home. We glide, swish, boom, right up onto the shore as a far-off loon calls good night. The sky turns from sunset to dusk to dark. Night settles over the pond, the prowling catfish and drowsy turtles, the scuttling crayfish and tadpoles turned frogs, wading herons and stalking raccoons, and the hidden world under the pond. Oh, and there's an author's note at the end if you want to read some more. But I just wanted to sh remind you, there are so many fun animals in this book that you could find here in Oregon, like this raccoon or the osprey. Maybe you shouldn't look for a moose, but the rest of the animals possibly you could find if you go down to the river, especially the red-winged blackbirds. They're so pretty, and I love to see them down by the river. Okay, friends. I want to do a song with you. We are going to do a song called Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Now in the book, we were paddling, but in this song, we are going to row, which is another way to move in a boat. But very important, friends. If we get into a boat, we need our personal flotation devices. I don't know if you saw it in the book, but they had yellow ones on. I have a blue one, so I'm going to get myself ready for the boat. Got my flotation device, so if I happen to fall in, hopefully not, but if I happen to fall in, I will be okay in my flotation device. So, I've got my flotation device on. I've got my hands ready to row. You guys ready to row with me? Here, so put your hands out in front of you. There we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Oh, we did a great job rowing. Sometimes boats get a little rickety. Let's go ahead and hold on to the sides. Can you hold on to your sides? Rock, rock, rock your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Oh, yay! You did some rocking, you did some rowing. Oh, we had so much fun going down the stream together. So maybe one of these days you'll get a chance to visit a stream or a river or a pond, and you can look around for all the cool animals that are there. Maybe you'll see a beaver. Maybe you'll see a red-winged blackbird. Who knows? Maybe you'll see a crayfish or a crawdad, as I might call them. So lots of fun if you can go visit a river and that's our story time for today. So thank you so much for joining us. I like to do one more song as my goodbye song. So if you want to sing with me, I bet you know the words to this one. I'm going to take off my PFD, my personal flotation device, because it's safe. I'm out of the water now. So we'll put that back down there. And now we are going to do If You're Happy and You Know It. So you can go ahead and sing along with me. If you're standing and you want to jump on the hoorays, that is great fun. I'm going to go ahead and stay seated. You can do it either way. Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, pat your head. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, pat, pat. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, do all three. 
clap, clap, pat, pat. Hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, pat, pat. Hooray! Oh, thanks for joining me today, friends. Bye. Thank you.